What's going on YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks? Thank you guys for joining in today. Well, since it's turkey season, today we're gonna smoke a ham. I'm gonna show you how I smoke them, the recipe that I use. It's simple and I guarantee you, your family will love it and they'll ask for it every single time. I'm gonna show you how I do mine. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. All right, so the ham we're starting with is a eight and a half pound bone-in ham. Now these things are usually a lot of times already pre-cooked. Uh, sometimes you can find them, uh, you know, raw and cooked. But I think most of you are going to find these at the grocery store, and those are usually pre-cooked. So basically, what we're going to do is just add some smoke to it and um, cook it a little bit further, bring it up to about 145 degrees. We're going to get a glaze on it. That's amazing. You guys are going to love this. So uh, this is what we're starting with. Let's get this glaze going and um, get this on the pit. To this glaze, we've got one cup of brown sugar. I have this on a low heat. To that, I'm gonna take three tablespoons of the juice from these uh, Marciano cherries. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, three tablespoons of the juice from the cherries. I'm gonna add that to the pot. Next, we're gonna take three tablespoons of pineapple juice. These slices and the cherries we're gonna use on the ham later. So let's get three tablespoons of the pineapple juice. Let's turn this down just a little bit. Get that mixed up. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of honey mustard. So we're going to let this uh, dissolve, mix up really well. And this is a glaze that we're going to use on that ham. I'm telling you, it's going to be amazing. So I'll pick back up once this is done. All right, so I got the ham, I got the glaze. Um, before we do anything, I'm not gonna add any rub or any seasoning at all to this ham. It doesn't need it. I'm gonna take this glaze and just put a light coating on top before we get it on the pit. So we're just going to coat it one time, this time around. There's going to be plenty of um, plenty of this glaze to use later, so don't get rid of it because we're going to need it. But this is going to give us a start to this recipe that we're looking for. So I'm going to get this on the Traeger, and I'm going to let it go till it reaches. 130 degrees once it reaches 130 degrees I'm gonna pull it off and then we're gonna get the next uh, round of seasoning on this bird I mean on this turkey I'm sorry on this ham damn it get it right bozo <laughs> on this ham so we're gonna add some cherries and some uh, pineapple to it it's gonna be great so that's it I'm gonna get this on the Traeger and you can cook this on any pit you have, Weber Smoky Mountain, Weber Kettle, whatever you have. And you can cook it at any temperature. The main thing is uh, to watch the internal temperature. I'm going to cook this, cook this at 275 and I'm going to get a probe in it and we're going to make sure it reaches 130 degrees. And once it does that, we'll pull it off, like I said, and I'll show you what we're going to do. Uh, next to this once it reaches 130 degrees, but that's it just like this no rub no seasoning get it on the pit It's gonna be Excellent. All right, we have it on the Traeger. I'm gonna get a probe in it and 275 hickory wood. We'll see how this goes and I'll pick back up once we pull it Once it hits 130 degrees and we pull it off of the smoker. All right, you guys this ham has reached about 130 135 degrees internal temperature. What I'm going to do is let me get a 
smaller spoon here. I'm going to take these cherries and a toothpick and I'm going to just dab it right on the ham. Take a pineapple chunk or a slice, put that right over the top. I'll take another um, cherry chunk or another cherry, put it right over the top. I'm pinning it down with a toothpick. And I'm taking this pineapple chunk or pineapple slice and just right over the top. Let's move this down a little bit. Just like that. Pin that cherry with the toothpick. Put the pineapple slice on top. Get the rest of these done really quickly. So this can of pineapples is a 20 ounce can. So one 20 ounce can should be enough for one ham. Get some of these toothpicks out of here. Just a couple more on this back side really quickly. Take a pineapple slice. Put it right on top. And then what we're gonna do is, that glaze that we made earlier, we're gonna take that glaze right over here <clears throat> we're gonna take that leftover glaze and just put it right over the top of here you can put some on the pineapple make sure you get it on the ham in between the crevices of these pineapples that it drip down I'm telling you when this sets when this glaze sets on this ham man it's gonna be good especially on top of the pineapples oh man oh man yeah buddy it's gonna be good So I'm gonna get it back on the pit and we're gonna let it go in about another 10, 15 degrees, then we'll pull it off. All right, the hem has been on, uh, put it back on. It's been on for about 30, 45 minutes and this is what it looks like. So almost there, about five more degrees and we will be done. All right, you guys, this ham is done. This is what it looks like with the uh, cherries and pineapple on it. So what we want to do is take these toothpicks out. That glaze on the um, on the cherries and on the pineapple. Oh man, it's gonna make those pineapples taste amazing. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna remove all of them, all the toothpicks. And I'm gonna remove the pineapple and cherries. I'm gonna set them in the pan, because you definitely, definitely do not wanna get rid of these. Because they taste amazing. Ooh. 
We'll set these in the pan, put them aside, and give this ham a taste. Let's just cut into it. Um, let's just cut anywhere. Let's cut right here. Why not? Let me cut a smaller piece here. So, man, that's got some great color on it. Look at that. I hope you can make that out. Great color. Let's give it a taste. All right, let's give this ham. I get that nice glaze. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Dang it, that's good. Holy cow. Man, oh man, I'm telling you, if you love ham, you got to try this recipe. You won't be disappointed. Your family and friends will love it. I get asked every year to make this exact same recipe. Listen, your boy wouldn't let you down. Try this. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Take care.